You guys will know on this channel that I, I love coffee. Nathaniel Hearns. He got in contact with me on Instagram, all the way from like the US. And he says he works in a specialty coffee shop. And he wanted to send me some coffee. Oh, I wish you could smell this bottle. Nathan, you're absolute legend. I cannot wait to try it. Did you miss me whilst I was away? No. <laughs> Not at all. Too untidy. Dad is still wearing his leopard print shorts that he's wearing. <laughs> Yeah, I jumped off a cliff into nice. the sea. Well, that yeah. was awesome. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> hey, boy. Look at the colour of you. Welcome back to the box, um, my second home. Probably will have realized in the last four kind of vlogs I've not really trained. I took four or five days off just to kind of mentally and physically reset myself because now we're back in the box, now the head's going down. We have three competitions coming up. We have Scale the Heights in September and then in October we have Rep It Out and followed by the Rainhill Trials. So we have a busy couple of months where we just got to put the work in. Gonna try and keep these vlogs kind of raw. I want to show you guys the effort that I'm going to put in over these weeks because I'm just ready. You know, after watching the CrossFit Games and Matt Fraser's mindset, it kind of triggers something in me to then be like, I don't want to settle for anything less. The reason why is because, yes, for myself, because obviously I always want to be the best athlete I can, but to inspire and to motivate you guys. I just think if you inspire and motivate someone to make a change in their life, that's what it's all about. So, next couple of months, hopefully I can do that to a couple of you guys. Or just keep your motivation sky high. So, let's get on with it. That's my 10 rounds done. They got one more left. Oh, my, my freaking forearms are in pieces. Let's go, Matt. Nice. Part of the first session in the back. Really hurt. <laughs> Feels so good. Feels so freaking good. Tonight, I'm completely going off the cuff and just doing what I feel like and what I feel like my body can handle after being off for a while. Nothing too heavy, just working. One set of max wall balls, three minutes rest. One set of max wall balls, three minutes rest. Then we go one set of max pull-ups, three minutes rest. One set of, one set of max pull-ups, three minutes rest. Can we, can we practice the wall balls first? Because I always drop like the first few because I'm really small. Okay. <laughs> What are, you <laughs> what are you doing? Ah, oh, there's a high five today. Ready? Him down. I tell you something. I feel really sick after that session. <laughs> on the Sunday when we were traveling home, I was actually really, really ill, and I couldn't wait to start training again. Yesterday on Monday, but I literally couldn't get out of bed. So good that that session was done. That's session one on road to these competitions. Let me know what you think of this kind of raw series of like, just kind of more raw training, less music, less editing. <sighs> Let's go and get some food. Let's go finish the night off well. Let's go. Who is it? Jazz, you're driving the wrong way. Look at this. <laughs> There's a peggy stuff up there. <laughs> I run that big balls. <laughs> These are currently my Pokemon. 
I am level 13. Finishing off tonight with something I probably have every single day, but I don't show you every single day. It's a chicken stir fry. Now the one thing that I do want to say with this is that once you've like cooked it all, I've added like an extra stem of broccoli in, but you add it in literally with like 30 seconds left because you want to keep as many of the nutrients and the micros in there as possible. Because the longer you cook it, the more it kind of loses that. The reason why we want to maintain as many of the micronutrients in there as possible and have as many micronutrients in our diet is because literally every day when we bash our bodies with like training, we tear our muscle fibers, we cause inflammation and they're just a great way to help promote the healing and to kind of dull down the inflammation, giving us kind of better recovery. And quicker recovery means that then the next day we can train harder and so on and so on. So eat your greens. <laughs> if you don't like broccoli, just eat it and then continue to eat it and then you'll start to enjoy it. Trust me, it takes like eating it 10 or 12 times. I think that's the research, I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, that is the end of this day. I hope you like kind of the different style of vlog and we're gonna rest up and sleep. And then it's day two. And catch you guys in the next <laughs> one. Hit that like button for Jazz. Why? I haven't got as many, but mine's cooler. I've got a flare on, it's pretty.